Hey guys, welcome back. We are going to work on our turkey feathers. Um, I got some uh, paint that uh, I found on a, actually a plastic model forum um, that gave me the uh, result that I was wanting on this that I posted way, way back when, when I um, first couple of months when I started doing this build on um, RC groups and RC universe. So. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, post a link, but uh, the two colors we're going to be using are the owl clad uh, pale burnt metal and the owl clad uh, jet exhaust. So these are the two colors that the uh, gentleman on the uh, plastic model forum used and uh, it turned out just the way that I wanted it to. So I've already applied the uh, jet exhaust to this last little bit around here and I actually just used um, uh, a q-tip to put that on so um, it actually worked out pretty good um, I will be repainting this area here I think I just used some uh, testers uh, model master but I don't remember the exact uh, paint color but it, this is pretty darn close to what it needs to be but um, this uh, pale burnt metal actually has kind of a, a gold look to it um, but you'll see that when we start uh, airbrushing but before we do any of that stuff we have to uh, mask everything off so uh, let's go ahead and do that and we'll get going I think probably the easiest way is we're just going to apply a bunch of masking tape and then cut around with an exacto knife to get these uh, the actual turkey feathers um, that we need so okay, I'm just gonna push down hard on here so that you know right where to cut it um, and our first coat we are going to be re-priming this because I sanded it all off before because I wasn't uh, happy with the color. Okay, <clears throat> so I've got my tape on, but uh, now I need to take the X-Acto knife and cut around the actual shape of the turkey feathers, so this will be fun. Okay, we're getting there. Uh, this kind of sucks, but uh, anyhow, I got all the little guys in there. So now we just need to get the rest of it. Okay, there's one. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a lengthy process here, so I can, I'm going to have to go in and probably touch up around these little fine detail areas there um, when we get all done. But So I'm going to keep going.
Holy crap, that sucked. But uh, we've got it pretty good at a rough level, so I just need to refine a few of these that um, I think I can do a little bit better, but we'll just need to add a little bit of a tape. Um, but uh, I need to take a break because my back is killing me. So I'll see you on the next step. Okay guys, I've had a little bit of time to recuperate and I've gone in and uh, really gotten in all the little nooks and crannies. Um, I got these little, uh, on the ends of the turkey feathers, there's like these little um, guides that uh, slide across these uh, little rails is what that actually is if you look at photographs. Um, but yeah, it was uh, pretty intense getting all of that, but uh, now it's time to prime and I'm going to prime the turkey feathers and since I'm going to be redoing this uh, kind of silverish area there, um, I'm going to go ahead and prime over that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm not going to show a video of that because I need to go outside to do it. Um, I'm going to leave the uh, patio door a little bit cracked this time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and show you the next step. Okay, so I got this nice and primed. Um, I think I kind of like this uh, Krylon primer a little bit better than what I was using before. I was just using a generic, but uh, this stuff seems to go on pretty good and it's uh, nice and smooth. So the only step I've got left now before we start doing any airbrushing is I just need to mask off this uh, area that's going to be silver later. So. pieces here. Okay, that looks nice and solid there. You can see on the lower side, um, I'm also painting these, they're kind of like hinges that allow the uh, turkey feathers to move in and out. Um, anyways, those are going to be the same color as the uh, turkey feathers themselves. So I think we're just about ready for uh, airbrushing. We'll go ahead and do that on the next video.